the Volkswagen Caddy Delivery Matchbox. Alright, so let's open this bad boy up. I'm thinking this is gonna be a racer. One post, let me drill it and I'll be back. Check it out. You got a plane, RC plane in the back. Very nice detailed interior. And we have an orange glass. So let me throw this in the paint remover and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. That paint was very, very difficult to remove. But I am back. Alright, so what are we doing with this? I think I'm going to make the world's first Volkswagen Caddy Dajiva. But wait. That's the they use usually they use Dodge vans, right? In Japan to do that, right? But what if we had a Dodge Hellcat engine back here. That will make it kind of a Dodge van, doesn't it? I like how this is a separate piece. Yeah. I like that. So what exactly am I doing? I don't know yet. I don't know if uh, this is one of the ideas that are going through my head right now. I might cut here just so I can keep the back bumper. And I might cut somewhere around here, right? And create my own chassis or let me take this off. I think like six years ago or seven, if you check my Instagram feed, I made a uh, Mustang with steering. That was way before 3D printing was available to us and I don't know why I want to do something similar with this just for the front because cars look just so much better when you, you take a picture and the the wheel is turned like this but I don't know so got this uh, sanding board here. Okay, so it got to the front. I really need to knock down the back. This might be a lot easier. Yeah. See, this is what I was worried about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in with epoxy to make it strong. Okay. And, uh, and then I'll continue to sand it down. And since the engine is going to be in the back, I got these templates here. Uh, I might do a this one. Exacto knife, we gotta cut. Got it. Might do an air air scoop here on the on the roof. 
might choose something something different mm, this one maybe this big one this big one might work a little better I might have to lift it and do some cosmetic here I don't know yet let me work with this and I'll be back all right check it out don't mind the mess I'm working over here so check it out so I mounted the engine I used different types of uh, brass I use a round two I mean brass rod over here uh, thinner brass rod over here C channel brass over here this is an, a piece of aluminum tubing which I slid in half about halfway I glued it there and then I have another piece of C channel here this is gonna go over here it's gonna sit just about there and it comes out underneath this is gonna be like the V drive a V drive is a adapter that's usually used on boats it'll transfer the the power from the transmission uh, via a small drive shaft and then another small drive shaft will come out here to the uh, rear uh, differential they use this too for um, the willy willy drag racing they do sometimes I haven't done I haven't seen any of that lately but yeah that's the idea right I'm coming along I might add a support somewhere around here make it look like a like an engine mount and I still have to play with uh, where exactly I'm gonna put the the axle but I'll do that at the end so I, I still don't know if I have to like cut here uh, don't know so I'm just making things along as I go along you know making things up so if I want this to be seen I'm gonna have to create my my own chassis so I already had this ready with epoxy uh, right now I don't know if I'm gonna use it right now I don't know although uh, yeah I don't know yet let me keep working on this I'm gonna glue this V drive I put a picture up in the screen so you could get an idea how a real one looks and uh, I'll glue it down and I'll be back all right I'm back okay so I glue the back bumper check this out look at this craziness I still have some of that blue tack I use some blue tack to temporarily hold the axle in place why uh, well I created all this mess It'll fit like that. Have some mock up wheels here. That means 
when it goes in there finally the final I have to build it outside and this is the front part which will fit here put in the screw when I paint it I gotta paint it with this on because I want this to be the same color or yeah, I'll paint this separately but it does I want the front bumper to be the same color as the body paint and here it is now I have to make a decision if I want to cut out the window to get a better view of the engine and as you can see the headers are facing towards the front side so I'm gonna have to cut them I'm thinking maybe I'll heat up my exacto knife and I'll do a one two at a time and then I'll put the one on the left to the right the one to the right to the left, and they should be facing backwards or maybe I mean that would be the right thing to do or we could also do an X pipe around and have it swing to the back eh I don't know leave me a comment tell me what you think is a better idea so it's been it's been too many hours I still gotta cut the roof and uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I should add a vent here on the side these are not gonna be the final wheels they are Watanabe's and we do need Watanabe's I'm gonna be using monoblock wheels I got different colors here so I don't know what color I'm gonna paint it so but it does roll and it is leveled it is ready to race even though you will be intoxicated with all the exhaust fumes so uh, I don't know let me know let me know in the comments if I should cut the window out and uh, I definitely want to do something like an air scoop here in the roof. Let me know what you think. I'm going to leave this video here. This is probably too long already. And uh, I'll do a part two to finish this. I have to keep going at this. And I don't know why I want to keep that plain. I want to cut it out with the control maybe use it as a display somewhere else all right so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one and i'll be reading your comments peace out